Hello, I'm Heather Feather, and I'm here with you today to share my children's book, Horseshoe Crab's Crown, illustrated by Valentina Gallup. And we are here in partnership with the New York City Littoral Society. So thank you for having us. Horseshoe Crab's Crown. And if you spend any time around Jamaica Bay, you might recognize some or all of these creatures. The book is dedicated to Eo, Akupara, and the Great Turtle, which are ancient mythologies about animals carrying the earth on their backs. In all of its days and all of its ways, the earth has seen many, many creatures. Some so much the same, you can trace where their pathways once parted. Others so strange and striking, they will leave you in lasting awe. Life can occur easily here on earth in the ebb and flow of our seas, allowing creatures large and small to make their case for survival. But sometimes. Ice or heat or cosmic collisions will reset these natural rhythms. Sixty-five million years ago, eyes deep in the sand, horseshoe crabs slept, missing the asteroid that entered the Earth's atmosphere, forever changing the life that lived there. It stirred up so much sand and soil that no sky or sun could be seen. And horseshoe crab, awaking to unusual darkness, searched the skies with her 14 eyes, looking for the warm welcome of her moon. Ten legs took her to shore where large beasts had once wandered. Now only darkness reigned about her, and no matter how hard she swung her powerful telson, she could not move the clouds from the air. Back into the sea she wondered what to do, what to do. How could horseshoe crab bring back her moon. And with not much more to offer beyond the strength of her shell, off she went to find some help. Not long looking, she observed another creature who rolled with the underwater waves. Hey you, what to do? How do we uncover the moon? Opening only slightly, Muscle whispered, I can help, I can. I may not walk, I may not swim, but I can clean the darkness from the water, piece by piece. And using his byssus, a cluster of fine threads, Muscle affixed himself to the hard head of horseshoe crab. Their collective journey was only a few steps in when they heard a chorus of voices. Hello, hello, us too, said barnacles, clustered only a few feet away. We also can filter the silt from the sea. They waved their feathery siri until horseshoe crab crawled to them and binding their bodies head first to the surface of her shell, they began doing their part piece by piece to uncover the moon. Patterns in the sand revealed woven pathways of creatures sliding along, leaving clean sand in their wake. However knotted these trails, Horseshoe Crab found her way through them and discovered Mud Snail eating debris. Mud Snail looked up without shame. One fish's trash is a Mud Snail's treasure. Would you, could you help? We must uncover the moon, cried Horseshoe Crab. And without hesitation, Mud Snail joined the journey, each animal doing what they do best to uncover the moon, piece by piece, bit by bit. As the water became clearer, they saw a boisterous beast dragging his home behind him. Hermit crab knocked on every shell and surface and slurped every substance off of every grain of sand. He exclaimed the earth's new beginning. You seek the moon, I see, he said with slender eyes. Muscle and barnacles will clear the water and I will help Mudsnail clean the sand, but who will clean the air? 
Not entirely knowing, but feeling certain nonetheless, horseshoe crab assured hermit crab. The more we look, the more we'll find. Piece by piece, bit by bit, little by little. And the marine friends moved ahead in the murk with only their hope to guide them. The journey lasted mere minutes or maybe even millions of years. For without the sun, it was hard to tell the movement of days. But the creatures kept on until light began to creep through the clouds, revealing an oasis of green, waving and welcoming in the shallows. We work together to uncover our moon, exclaimed Horseshoe Crab, excited for the promise of the planet. Eelgrass whispered its delight. We want this world to thrive. And with each green grass breath, the air became cleaner as oxygen entered the atmosphere. And through the sway of the eelgrass blades peeked a guiding friend from the past. Piece by piece, bit by bit, little by little, breath by breath, they had uncovered the moon. Gradually, the world became welcoming again to lingering life and all of its persistent creatures. The animals continued their journey for many more millions of years, watching and waiting for the moon to forever be a part of the patterns and cycles of the planet. The end. And if you have any questions about some of the choices we made in the book, we've explained some things in the glossary here in the back. Um, and if you have more questions beyond that or are interested in a book of your own, you can visit us at www.horseshoecrabscrown.com. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you have a wonderful day.